Okay, hello. On this uh, tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up the laser, uh, and we're just going to do um, uh, an example of a key ring just to show you how to uh, set up all the parameters and, and get it going. So, on the screen there, I've got a very simple key ring. Uh, if I just zoom in on that so that you can see, okay, I've got the Mr. Weight in blue, that's going to be engraved because the, um, the laser cutter will recognize different colors and will do different uh, procedures based upon the color uh, that it recognizes. So I've got a red line around there which is going to be a score and I've got a black line around the edge which is going to be a cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set our paper up to the same size as the laser bed. So it's, again it's set up drawing a layout and this time we're going to go to the third option down which says ILS3 which is the driver for the laser cutter. So I'm going to click on that and press OK and now we've got the A2 bed here which is uh, the bed of the laser cutter. So I'm going to select my key ring and I'm going to drag it to the top. OK so now we're, we're ready to go. So we're going to go over to the laser now um, I'm going to turn on the laser now because it takes about 40 seconds for the tube to warm up. So while that's warming up, I'm going to do all the other things that I need to do. So I'm going to turn that on. It's making a bit of noise, so I hope you can still hear me. Um, I'm going to make this key ring out of a piece of uh, fluorescent acrylic. It doesn't look translucent at the moment because I've got the backing cover on. I'm just going to leave that on for the moment. But when you focus your piece of acrylic, it's best to always use an opaque piece of acrylic. So I'm just going to put a bit of blue in there. Come over to the control panel. This is the main menu system. I'm going to go down to system setup. Press enter. Down to position setup. Enter. And down to autofocus. Press enter and the bed of the machine will automatically adjust itself for the thickness of the material which is in this case three millimeter acrylic so I'm now going to replace it with my workpiece in the top corner bring the lid down carefully okay back over to the computer I'm going to go to file and this time it's print because as far as the computer is concerned, the laser cutter is just another type of printer. Uh, we're going to go to properties. Now I've already set this up for this particular job. Um, so all of the parameters there are set for uh, engrave and cut and score. If I click on the job tab, I want to turn on uh, the blue there for engrave. And for the cut, I'm going to go for black and red. Press OK. Press OK once more. Now you're not going to be able to hear this on the video, but if you listen carefully when you're using the machine, you'll hear three beeps, one beep, and then two beeps. And after the third beep, you know that the machine has received the file and it's ready to go. So if we focus in on the material now, if I press Run on the machine, which is the yellow button, it will start to engrave to begin with. It's now going round and it's doing a cut. doing the score. Okay, turning the uh, machine off. Lift the lid. Now it's not hot, you can take it out straight away. Pop that out. There's a little bit of dust on the top which we're going to remove. Take out the, uh, the hole for the key ring. 
I'm taking off the, the backing sheet there. Okay, and there's my uh, fluorescent key ring. I'm just going to get my ring. And uh, this is where we find out whether we've got nails or not. Uh, open that up. Okay, and there's our finished key ring. Okay, that ends this tutorial.